Before 2017, light tracks of land in Divuni village in Yata sub-county were highly eroded, bare and sand scorched with nothing but ugly emptiness to show. Nobody would have imagined that such bare eroded farms will become agriculturally productive at some stage. But that was before the residents learned about land rehabilitation through dry land development program, spearheaded by the World Vision. Uh, the main objective of the project was to transition farmers from subsistence farming and uh, reliance to relief to a more commercialized farming whereby they will be able to have uh, food security within their household at the same time to have access so that they could uh, uh, sell and uh, increase their income within the household. We were implementing this program uh, under eight work packages. However, the most uh, the, the packages that we were dealing with in Machakos County were on natural resource management. We were also working on uh, on-farm rainwater harvesting technologies and uh, also climate smart production, crop production. So with these three pack work packages, we made sure that each pack work package integrated with each other so as to make sure that uh, the objective of the program is achieved. For it to be achieved, uh, we made sure that uh, on natural resource management we were working with the Water Resource Users Association and we had some intervention within the subcatchment. A subcatchment is an area where rivers drain in one common river. The, the, that area is known as the subcatchment. So what we were doing in uh, Machakos, we were working in two subcatchments. We had the Mathauta subcatchment where we are and we had the Mindu subcatchment in Mwala. We had the Rua who were the people or the institution which was mandated by Water Resource Authority to make sure that uh, they look upon the resources within those areas, especially water. And be, water being the main uh, agenda of the drylands development program, it was very important for the program to work with the rulers. The entry point was to learn how to grow grass since the area had been so ravaged that it could not support any other form of crop production. Two years down the line, the bare, ugly swatch locally known as Mangalata are being faced out seamlessly, with moles of healthy grass sitting back to back in what was once worthless pieces of land. Uh, we made sure now the on, the on farm, where now the people were, 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 were farming, those areas, there were some areas which were wasted, which had been denuded and they could not support uh, crop production. For instance, like uh, uh, the, the interventions on uh, rehabilitation. We made sure that we trained, so, uh, we, we trained the community on how to rehabilitate wasted lands and uh, we had several interventions that were done within those uh, areas. For instance, we had uh, uh, terraces, we had the, uh, the, the half moons, we had the zy pit. So we integrated all those technologies with the enrichment planting, also making sure that uh, the are there to FMNR and are also using the seed balls to make sure that those areas are rehabilitated. The results have catapulted area residents into full-time grass farming, with many producing grass for domestic fodder and also for sale. To these farmers, grass farming has become an alternative source of income, even as they combat the adverse effects of unforgiving climate condition in their dry region which like many parts of Ukambani, has witnessed depressed rains over the years. Uh, since Kama Kikundi Sasa, in a group, we are registered as we are talking. Now what we are doing every Thursday of every week. Now, wakati wakati tulikuja hapa tulianza kwanza, kwanza kitu wa kwanza tulitua mbegu. Mbegu tulipatia wa kulima wetu, ambao ni members wa hiki kundi, waneta kuwa unyumbani. Nasi hiyo ndio tuliuza tuliusia wa members wetu wale walikuwa na wakitaje nasi maana katungeuza nje maana ni kidogo hajatuyafaidika sisi sote kwa hivyo tuliuza tulikuwa tukifunga kwa msiko kwa bell moja tulikuwa nauza 100 kwa hivyo tulikuwa nauza 100 shillings ile bell tulikuwa tumefunga maana tunauza members wetu na at the end tukiendelea hivyo sasa tutapandisha maana yake maisha ni ngumu ni maisha iko juu sana so hii tuliuza members na tuka agree kama members tuweje tunua kwa 100 ili kwanza tu According to Dominic Kivuvo, the vice chairman of Ndivuni, a self-help group, 
The group started with a community land of about three acres where they integrated both the indigenous and hybrid grass after their training session. This has since become a successful demonstration farm where their members come to learn and also get seeds to grow grass at homestead level. Na wakati tulianza hii mradi kwanza tulitoa tulichakuliwa kutoka kwa villages kutoka kila village ke, katika katika location tuko na village kumi. So kila location inatoa watu kama kumi, tukaenda ka training baada ya masomo ndio tulitengeza kitu inaitwa cup ambayo ilikuja kutoa mashita ya kutoka kila village. Kila kila village kapea na mashita yale ya yaloko kwao. Ndio hiyo ndio ilikuja kufanya hii iwe selected manake ilikuwa haikuwa na chochote kile ilikuwa bare kabisa so kutoka hapo ndio tulikuja site na watu wa world vision na tukoja na watu wa minister of agriculture pata masomo na ndio sasa tukaanza kutukapima hizi terex na community wakaingia tukaanza kutukutengeneza na kutengeneza hizo hizo hizi eh, terex ndio sasa watu tuletee nyasi watu wa dread ilikuwa na hizo nyasi tukaanza kurusha na sile zetu wa nazita makadi tuka solution ilikuwa kama seed boss tukaanza kusudisha huko na pia tulileta ngombe tukalima na ngombe setu tukalima hiyo hiyo hapo tukaweka nyasi juu wakati mvua ilinyesha sasa ndio nyasi kafanya nini ikaanza kumea na kwa kuendelea zile indigenous sikaanza nako kutoka tukaanza kusiprune sasa ndio naona vile The farmers were trained on how to make terraces as a way of holding runoff water, how to grow grass, how to harvest grass seeds, and how to bale. Under the project which started in mid 2017, the farmers were provided with free grass seedlings which they have been generating over time. Kutoka na hii muradi wa Dredep wametusaidia sana manake watu wa area hii kama yetu wa hapa area hii yetu wamefaitika sana kwa maana wamesoma na hii maso, hii ni kama demonstration plot huwa tunasomesha watu hapa tunaenda kufanya manyumbani mwetu kila member anachukua nyasi anapanda kwake anaenda na anapruni wake nyumbani inakuwa environment ni nzuri sasa kutokana na hiyo sasa tumeona mradi umetufungua macho kila mtu sasa anaona hakuna chochote kila gezi kafanyika kwa mahali dry kwa dryalia kila mwananchi sasa hapa kwetu anaweza kutengeneza kwake hata ukiende unaweza furahia sababu inatokana na hapa manake ilikuwa mbea sana hakukuwa na chochote kile watu watoto walikuwa wanachezea mpira hapa na sasa baada ya kuingia na kuanza kazi hapa sasa imechange na imekuwa mali mzuri kwa watu wanatamani kuja na kuja kusoma so muradi umetusaidia sana na ningesema watu wote sasa wakiona muradi umekuja area yao waende waichukue na waitunze maana italeta mambo mazuri kwao uh, imefikia kiwango kwamba hizi hizi kama ni kuni tunapata kuni hapa watu wanaenda kupika chakula watu watapata nyasi wanaleja ngombe zao na watu watauza tutapata pesa so muradi mali tumefikia sasa inaanza inaanza kutuletea income tuletee income sababu nyasi tunaweza uza mbegu tunauza wageni wakija hapa kitembea basi si tunafurahi tunapata masomo kwao kwa hivyo dry dev umetupikia mahali mzuri na tunafurahi sana kwa kazi ambayo umetufanyia kwa hiyo miaka mbili. Mr Kivuvo was one of the passionate farmers who embraced the idea and was identified as a trainer of trainers or TOT task with training other trainers and farmers on grass growing its husbandry harvesting and regeneration he says that with grass farming there is always assured harvest even with depressed rains the group has 40 active members with a strict rule for each of them to grow grass at homestead level every member hiyo ni sheria tumeweka every member shoot mpaka apande yes manake kwa nini sasa ile tunausa hii yetu hata wewe mwenyewe unausa unaona sasa ile sasa ile unataka kama tunatumepata mtu atakunoi yote au utakuwa na shida maana kwako utakuwa na nasi ya kuliza mfuko ya mfuko zako hiyo ni sheria ambayo tumeweka kila member mpaka fanye nini apande nasi ndio sio hii yetu ni tengemeo maana hii ni hii ni generating activity hii ni kita kutuletee faida ili tuweze kufika mahali pengine ya maana tunaweza panda tunaweza kusikia kuna mbegu nyingine iko mahali ili tuwe na pesa kwenda kunoi mbele kuleta wapi hata hiyo ku sustain the pro, inye, mradi wetu mradi kama huu baka kwanza kwanza masomo kwanza maana sisi tumefunzwa mini TOT kwa hivyo hapa tuko mini TOT 
ndio ukija hapa nitakuvunza jinsi tulifanya hapa vile tulianzisha hapa vile tulipima terex vile tulishimba terex vile tulipanda nazi au yote mwenyewe atakufundisha hapo saa saa mimi nitakufundisha na wale members wengine tuma train kwa hivyo tunawaona TOTs hapa yeah ndio ile uje uelewe ni nini unaenda kufanya kwako Kivuvo insists that the venture has become one of the sure ways of preventing soil erosion and rehabilitation of Mangalata. Besides grass farming, it's now a source of income for many of these residents. Ukulima ule na farm mkulima sasa ni wanyasi. Yule alikuwa na this time amepata pesa nyingi sana. Nasi iko na pesa mingi zaidi na watu huko pata chakula. Shamba ilisikuja simekuwa dry atuko pale chakula lakini mwenye nyasi akona pesa watoto wanaenda shule analipia watoto karo na ngombe zake zina mifuko yake zinakula kwa hivyo kilimo cha nyasi ni better than ukulima mwingine wa mai wa chakula kingine kama ngo ya 2017 hapa niambiwe hii hii ni, ni shamba wewe mwenye unge ichukua sababu akukua chochote kile huwa mchanga tu unaona na upepo napata kulehabilitate ku, ku, sasa naona sasa hata hewa hapa ni mzuri hata ni hata kama sio vita kuna kiangazi saa hii hapa wakati kulikuwa na mvua au ungetoka hapa maana ilikuwa pale kulikuwa hakuna joto ni mali unaweza staili kama mali tu bado unaweza mali unaweza zama ni mali ya picnic maana yake una, 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 una hata watu wakitaka kufanya aruzi wanaweza kuja mpaka hapa hata wafanyie kazi hapa mapigo picha hapa maana yake ni pale bazuri pana miti pana nyazi yeah.